Hi, welcome to your channel Versatile for you. My name is Asen Ali and I have just started this tutorial of Python for beginners who even don't know about programming. This is my first lecture in which I will give you introduction and overview of Python. So let's get started. Introduction and overview of Python. In this Python lecture, I shall introduce you to programming of Python. This includes future of Python. Python architectures and its applications in the industry. Also, we will learn about available Python frameworks like Django, Flask, Pyramid, etc. So, you can see on your screen history, architecture, construct, futures, these all we should cover in this lecture. So, what is Python? The Python programming language is an object-oriented language, which means that it can model real-world entities. It is also dynamically typed because it carries out type checking at runtime. It does so to make sure that the type of construct matches what we expect it to be. The distinguished feature about Python is that it is an interpreted language. The Python integrated development environment executes instruction one line at a time. This also let us use it as a calculator. So why Python? Why it is called Python? Guido Van Rusem named it after the comedy group Monty Python. Means Python is on the name of Monty Python. A lot of implementations today run version 2.x but the future belongs to Python 3.x. So what make Python so powerful? Apart from the construct that Python provides, you can use PyPy. PyPy means Python Package Index. It is a respiratory of third-party Python module and you can install it using a program called pip. Run the following command in the command prompt pip install library name to install any library. So. Now discuss Python architecture and its usual flow. It include parser, compiler, interpreter. So what is parser? It uses source code to generate the abstract syntax tree. And compiler, it turns the abstract syntax tree into Python bytecode and interpreter. It execute the code line by line in read, evaluate, print loop fashion on Windows. When you want to run Python interpreter in the shell, you can type the following. So now move to Python constructs. It includes future uh, functions, list, classes, tuple, modules, dictionary, packages, comment and doc strings. These all we will discuss in the lecture 2. In the lecture 3, in lecture 2, we will uh, discuss how to install and download the Anaconda in which we perform task of Python. And in lecture 3, we will discuss variables. And in lecture 4, we will discuss data types. Huh. Yes. In the lecture 4, we will discuss these things, function list, class it triple in detail. So move to future of Python's. So portable, it's mean easy. Easy Python is very easy to learn and understand using this Python tutorial. Any beginner can understand the basic of Python. And interpreter it is interpreter means execute line by line this make it easy to test and debug object oriented the python programming language support classes and object we discuss these above and we will also discuss in future lectures free and open source since it, in a, it is open source you can run python on window 
Macs, Linux, or any other platform, your program will work without needing to the changes for every machine. And GUI programming, you can use it to develop a GUI. GUI means graphical user interface. One way to do this is through Trinkter and a large library. Python provides large standard library. You can use it to implement a variety of functions without needing to renovate the wheel every time. Just picking the code you need and continue. This less focus you to on important tasks. Python frameworks. Here we will discuss frameworks of Python. You can see on your screen. This is the Django. Uh, Python. The Django is a free and open source framework written in Python and is the most common framework for Python. It allows you to create database driven websites. It follows the dry principle means don't repeat yourself. This is design philosophy that keep code simple and easy. Popular website like Instagram, Mozilla, Discuss make use of it. And there is Flask. Like the Django, Flask is web framework written in Python itself. It is a micro framework because it does not need certain libraries and tools. It also does not have form validation or database abstraction layers. However, you can make use of extension to add extra features. And Pyramids. Pyramid is another web framework. It need it needed a mega framework that would make decision for you, not a micro framework that would force decision. It gives you optimal liberty of your project. And Tornado, another open source web framework. Tornado is written in Python language. It is noted for an, its excellent performance. And there is Bottle. Like Flask, it is micro framework for Python. It is used for web development. Bottle is known for its speed, simplicity, and lightweight. A single find can run both Python 2.5 plus and 3.x. And Web2Pay. Uh, Web2Pay is written in Python. Web2Pay is another open source web framework. It emphasizes on rapid development and follow an MVC architecture. MVC stands for Model View Controller and NumPy there. NumPy is an open source framework for Python. We use it for scientific computing. It supports large multi-dimensional array and matrices and functions to operate on them. And this is SkyPy. SkyPy is Python library that you can use for scientific computing. It has modules for linear algebra, interpolation, fast Fourier transfer, FFT, image processing, and many more. It uses multidimensional array for the NumPy module. And Pylon. This is framework. This is deprecated framework, which means it's not too longer recommended. It is web framework and is open source as well. Open source as well. It makes extension use of third-party tools. So now discuss flavors of Python. Flavors of Python. You can see on your screen. Here is. Python. This is most widely accepted implementation of Python. It is written in C language and is, it is an interpreter. And Jethan. Here is Jethan. Jethan is Python implementation written in Java. A Jethan program, program can import any Java class. It compiles to Java bytecode. 
and iron python this is iron python is implemented in c number it can function as an extensibility layer to application framework written in .NET language and Brethen it acts as bridge between Python and Ruby uh, Brethen Brethen stands for browser Python it is an implementation of Python that run in the browser and there is Ruby Python it acts as bridge between Python and Ruby interpreter it marshals data between Python and Ruby virtual machines and there's PyPy interesting to know how PyPy is Python implemented in Python this make it faster and easier to experiment with however the standard implementation is C Python and a micro Python this is an implementation of Python meant to run on microcontroller. It uses MicroPython board that run MicroPython on bare metal. So let's move ahead in this Python tutorial and learn file extensions of Python. File extension in Python. So dot pyy. This is file extension of uh, the normal extension for a uh, python source code dot uh, c this is extension for compile byte code and you can see on your screen there are several extensions in python and for what it's used means dot d is window dll file dot o is extension for file created with optimization dot pyw is extension for python script for windows dot pyz a python script archive so let's move to our basic topic applications of python python is easy to pick up even if you come from non programming background you can look at the code and tell what's going on talking of python application some of cool things that you can do with python are you can build a website you can develop a game perform computer vision implement machine learning and uh, enable robotics perform web scrapping perform data analysis automate a web browser perform scripting perform scientific computing build artificial intelligence so these are the applications of python you can do these these things from python have a look on it so Python versus Java versus C++ as you know in C++ and Java uh, we have to write a long code lengthy code uh, for example if we want to print a single word a single line so we should uh, we have to write uh, eight, approximately 8 to 9 lines code for print a single word but in, but in Python we don't need to write a lengthy code we should uh, print a single word in just two lines by just this a is equal to 7 print a in first line we write a is equal to 7 and in second line we write print a so result is 7 so in these two lines we can print a single word so python is very easy I think that this is difficult and boring for you but it's just an overview of python you don't need to learn it it's just overview that you should know before starting python so in future videos we will start learning python and also perform task So this is just an overview so this all 
was about python hope you liked our explanation so meet you in next video and bye for now take care